Da, 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 da. Good morning and welcome. Oh, wait. <laughs> welcome to Breakfast Funky for the 15th of January, 2021. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, everywhere you are. That's what I wanted to say. Um, uh, welcome to the intimate episode because today, like, I shouldn't. If I was at all smart, then I would have uh, remembered that today is the start of the speedrunning competition, right? Uh, the uh, ESA. Uh, European speedrunners uh, assembly, which looks really cool. Like they have, let's see. If you are not watching this and you are watching me, you might want to reconsider. <laughs> it's all I'm saying because it looks something like, wait, why am I not full screen this? This is so weird. Oh, there we go. It looks like this, right? It's like all runners are on the screen all the time. Uh, I'm great at advertising for other things during my own stream. Um, but I'm going to be looking at this right after we uh, disband here. But I'm also just going to leave it up. I think I'm just going to leave it up just in case we want to switch back and forth in case someone does something amazing over there. But today is the uh, all shortcuts and Tiamat category. Uh, Xana's running tomorrow, Tobias. Um, I think the, the first day is the all shortcuts Tiamat. And I think the cur I think DT currently is the leader at like 15 minutes and something, which 15 minutes for the whole, like all shortcuts, like unlocking all the shortcuts and then getting, and then beating Tiamat, which is kind of not, not so right. It's a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> those speedruns are some back to the future two style multi-channel nightmare. Yup, Daki, that's the future we now live in. Right in the whenever Back to the Future Two was out, when was that? Like eighty eight, eighty seven. We were like, oh man, the future. Of course, at that point, I was what sixteen or seventeen years old, and I was like, this is amazing. And now I'm fifteen. I'm like, I can't look at this many these many screens at the same time. Uh, I guess Back to the Future predicted that people watch multiple streams at once. I mean, back those movies are fantastic. I don't remember three as much, honestly, but one and two, man. I should probably go back and watch those. I'm just waiting for like, now that I have like 4K TV and everything, everything's being remastered, right? We watched, over the holidays, we watched uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy in 4K HDR, which it's amazing, right? It's like, it looks fantastic. To the great chagrin of my wife, cause she really didn't want to see it, but she did it to me, she did it for me because she loves me. So thank you, thank you very much, uh, my wife. Um, so now, fun fact, I read, Back to the Future 2 novelization. That is amazing. I didn't know there was such a thing. <laughs> okay, so let's just jump straight into it because I think I'm gonna keep this to an hour today so that we can all go back and watch uh, speed running and go about our weekends because yeah, I was teaching a workshop every, like Sunday through... Ugh. That's not what I wanted to... Oh my god, I did the same mistake last night when I played on PSN. Man, man, man. This is already starting off bad. Um, I te taught a workshop five nights this week, and it was great. It was cool. And the Chinese students are, did an amazing job. But, man, am I tired. Like, I cannot... I don't... I, man, how did I ever work 12-hour workdays... Hey, Noel, good to have you back. Very glad I have a break from teaching this semester. Oh boy, it's the absolute, absolute opposite for me. Uh, I am on like a invert, inverted sabbatical, I guess, because I agreed to be advising a bunch of PhD students at USC on top of my normal day job, which I said to myself I'd never do again. But hey, in this day and age, it, I mean, it's extra pay and I'm like, yeah, I, don't, I could use that. I have an expensive, I, I buy expensive gear and whatever, so. I guess you'd manage 12 hours before because you weren't 50. Yeah, probably. Probably is what I'm gonna say. Um, I don't think I ever thought about it. I don't think I ever gave it a whole lot of thought. Oh yeah, I remember what I did yesterday. And it worked. It definitely worked. So I'm gonna, hopefully it works today too. Let's see. Because that dude's gonna get stuck, right? In that 
in that web. Which means I can also, if I don't mess it up, there's an altar down there. And yesterday I messed it up. And this is also the level... Yeah. So I accidentally got the pug killed. Don't throw it. There we go. Yeah, now I'm gonna need two of these. Why am I not killing this? Yeah, there we go. If I'm not mistaken, I think bombing up through here was the way to go. Because I think it's over there. I have 28 bombs, right, 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 yeah, yeah. There we go. Unfortunately, it's gonna cost me another rope. I think that's fine, let's see. So highly unusual for me to uh, to rob on the daily, but I did it last night too, and it worked pretty well. So let's hope that it stays that way. I think I was able to escape the next. Oh boy. I think I may have forgotten the shotgun last night. I like how I'm always trying to recreate exactly what happened previously on the my set my first attempt on this daily. Oh Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Man. Like give me one night of like halfway decent sleep and suddenly Wow, there's a lot of slowdown here. Um let's see. Uh hey everyone, hey bro quaint. Uh, my fellowships worked out that my advisor could support me fully as a research assistant, so I'm very fortunate. Nice! That means you don't have to teach. I remember what that was like. Uh, actually, I don't, because even though my advisor, in even in Darmstadt in Berlin, uh, could do that, I wanted to teach, right? Because I knew I wanted to be an academic. Hustling for audio equipment. <laughs> so transactional. I mean, fortunately, Jeff, I love teaching, right? So it's not... It doesn't feel like I'm just like doing a job that I otherwise wouldn't do, but I am pretty tired. Uh, taking extra shifts at work to pay for his addiction. That's not entirely, that's not entirely untrue. Um, uh, Jeff, what about those promising PhD students? I mean, I have, I, I know you, I know you're just kidding, but like I had a couple of PhD students over the course of my 15 years of doing this um, that, are amazing, right? Steel and kneeling, I love it. Steel and kneeling, maybe I should put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Steel and kneeling. Uh, ooh, I think, I think I can, yeah, I just, right? I think I can get the Kapala here. So let's do it, right? Oh, I definitely didn't have the shotgun with me yesterday. Where is the, oh, I have to buy. Ooh, I remember this. So how did I do, I definitely did this yesterday. I triggered the shopkeeper to go down. This is, this is man, this has a bad idea written all over it, but I kind of, I kind of have to do it. Right, so I think I triggered the shopkeeper to get out of there. There we go. Then I went down, purchased, oh boy. Grab you, purchase. I'm not purchasing shit here. Steel and Neilan doesn't buy stuff. Steel and Neilan just takes stuff. I feel I feel weirdly bad right now about myself. It's a video game for heaven's sake. So I'm at three health, which makes me think. Why not go to more health? Okay, so let's not, just be a little bit careful about time here. Cause I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bomb my way. Oh boy, that was a little bit too close probably. Cause I feel like now if I'm not careful, I'm gonna piss off Yang. So let's, maybe I do the blowing up of this turkey over here just to not tick off Yang. Okay, be a little bit more careful about time. Yeah, 
I have to definitely avoid Yang here. So yeah, let's do the first version here. So I have so many bombs that I'd rather have some health. There we go. I guess if I was better at that, I could have sacked you. Oh, there we go. feeling here tells me that this isn't going to work, right? And I actually have to... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This doesn't work, right? Like, I have to bomb my way through up there, which means I'm going to lose the turkey. Actually, let me... You know what? Let's get the hell out of here. Like, I'm dirtling around way too much. So that was close, but I'm forgiven, see? So that, I mean, that's as good as it gets, right? I think. So I have 23 bombs, four health, I have the Kapala, and I'm forgiven. Broquate, forgiven how? I mean, I didn't hurt the shopkeepers, right? If you don't do anything to them, you're good, right? You're good, you're golden. Okay. Ugh. I remember that somehow. Six health. Okay. Okay. He never. Oh yeah, I never. Yeah, no, I never killed a shopkeeper. I never bounced on someone's head. Uh, need a frame by frame on that spider jump missing the ghost. That was pretty close. <laughs> Andy stealing kneeling is <laughs> Andy stealing because he robs the shopkeeper guys stealing viewers from the ESA stream. I'm stealing like what three? How many are on here right now? Oh, 17. I'm surprised. <laughs> Stop the steal. Quill and kneeling. Uh, I wish. Okay, so man, so many altars. So of course I died. Yesterday I died around here somewhere because I did something not super intelligent. Probably whipped the idol or something. Actually, you know what? No, I think I got... I, have na I navigated into a space. Oh, this is going to suck. There's a level later on, I think, where... Was it this one? Where it's almost impossible to not trigger one of the robots. Right? So I don't... I guess I have to to bomb through here, right? Because this is just not good. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Okay, let's just get out of here. Uh, Quillen's pronounced chillin'. Oh, right, 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 right. It's true, it's true, chillin'. Sorry. Okay, 25 bombs. So yesterday, Despite having all these bombs, I drilled, and that was... Ob Ooh, careful. That was obviously a bad idea. Okay, there's a bat there, and I don't want to die to that bat, so let's continue the path of just blowing our way, blowing everything up. 
Put you on your own. Right, yeah. Oh. I think it may have been this level where the big explosion happened. I'm not sure anymore. Only my memory would serve me better. Okay, let's just blow a path this way. Uh-uh, this is dangerous. Okay. Why was drilling a bad idea? It looked pretty, oh, there were there was a lot of, there was a lot of lava. There was definitely a lot of lava going on there. I'm not, but I don't even think, I think that's me where I died. I don't even remember. I remember getting this rock dog, so this is not where I died. But also yesterday when I was at this point, I had like one or two health. Because I had not collected, uh, I, I had not reached the Kampala yet. Okay, is there anything else here in there? Wait, what? No! What am I doing? That's... Oh, okay, well, I guess we're not going... Okay, this is exactly the kind of shit that happens to me when I'm not paying attention. Right? So we're not going anywhere co close to Cosmic Ocean. Well, whatever. So Cosmic Ocean is not what this run is going to be about. Well, not only is it not Cosmic Ocean, it's also not anything, right? It's just Tiamat, right? So let's just do, okay, let's just get out of here, right? Because now I just, I really messed up. Like, I obviously need to get the crown. And now I just messed that up, so let's... Sorry, buddy, you're gonna get cooked. Nope, maybe you're not gonna get cooked. Looks like you're not gonna get cooked. Okay, in that case, let's just do this. Oh, I already thought... Okay. Temple time. Oof. Man, bummer that I keep on doing this. these, like, going through the wrong door style mistakes. Crown isn't a requirement. Really? Don't I need to get... Well, how am I going to kill... Uh, how am I going to kill Kingu? I know there's a way to kill Kingu without... Too, I tried it the other day, and it turns out too many. Like, way too many. Quill and skip. How does that work again? Oh, that. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, Quill and Skip. Ha ha, very funny. Oh, boy. Mm. I don't think there's a universe where I can, where I'm going to reliably do the Quill and Skip anytime soon. Going back up to get get you, buddy. You don't need anything from the path, bomb and whip or gun. Wow, 150 whips, like 150, all three digits. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Skip is very easy with the jetpack up the middle. Colin does it reliably. Well, okay, if you if everyone can tell me how to do that, I'll think I'll consider it. Wait, what the, what just happened? Let's do this. I guess technically I don't need the Ankh then either, but why not? Ankh's a good item. 
Wait a second. I don't have the bow here. You know what? No. No, 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 no. Let's just do this. Oh, boy. I'm just straight up going Cosmic Ocean. Uh, not Cosmic Ocean. Uh, Sunken, City, um, Sunken City now. All right, let's just do that. That's fine. Bye. Take care, Noel. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here now. Hey. Oh. Uh, well, let's do some gambling. I mean, I'll get to it. I'll definitely do another run today. No, no worries. I'll definitely not still try to not fumble that as bad as I just did. I mean, a jetpack here would be kind of cool. Power pack, probably dangerous, I guess. Uh, well, power pack with high repeat rate. Sure, why not? Well, wait, 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 wait. We're not doing that. We're taking, obviously taking a shotgun. Oh, I got the spike boots, so... Well... City gold, just still try Mothership. How do I do Mothership? I don't even know. If someone can tell me how to get to the Mothership, I've never, I've literally never seen the Mothership. Man, come on. Now I'm just getting, again. Could have done. Still could try Mothership. Jake McGee, definitely tell me. Tell me how to get to Mothership. I will do this. Andy, did you know the power pack increases the damage of your bombs too? Oh yeah, yeah, the, oh, the, the, oh, I didn't know that. How do you get to Mothership without compass? I have the compass. Um, I have the compass. Uh, hey, Kevin, save Van Horsing and then go temple. Find him there, he gives you an alien compass, the points of the, okay. Float down to secondary exit in ice caves. Secondary exit in ice caves, okay. If there's any way I can still do any of these things, please feel free to direct me. Because this run is basically at this point just for the stats, right? I'm just trying to be like get a decent... Ah, uh, poison. I, forget. I sometimes tend to forget that that dude's gonna just spew poison. Oh! Uh, oh! Uh. Good job, Alien Compass. You didn't save on horsing. I did not. Uh, four two. Well, I don't. I'm not getting anyway. Different compass. Got it. I did not know. I did not know that there was such a thing as a as an Alien Compass. Uh, but yeah, we're just trying to get. I'm just trying to get to the next run, basically, and not entirely mess this up. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to try to, like, deliberately sabotage the run. But I'm also not going to play it super tight. Like, I'm going to just try to get the hell out of here. Wow. 
Okay, 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 okay. Uh... Got a shotgun. This should be doable, right? Oh boy. Okay, that was easy enough. I guess with the repeater gun, this is all not that hard to do, right? There we go. Positions about my case, the door can spawn just below the camera cutoff. Roll the dice, try for MS on the right side. Be the six tile from the right. Maybe somebody knows where the entrance is in the daily because it didn't MS run. Doesn't have gloves or jetpack or anything. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Let's, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just do this, uh, vanilla. Vanilla. I, I got this now and I'm not bad this game run, right? Who knows whether I can even pull that off. Oh, that thing's just not gonna turn off now? Cool. Well, I'm gonna have to bomb through something anyway, so it might, well, might as well be over here. In which case... Oh boy, I forgot that I have gigantic bombs now. Oh boy. Beep. Loads of bombs and just a couple more levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I get it. In fact, no, that's a little bit unfortunate. Ah, uh -huh. and the elevator almost pushed me back into garbage I didn't want to deal with. You could have just bought the bombs. I didn't want to! I didn't feel like it. I need to be a little bit more careful here. <laughs> Stealing, kneeling. That was pretty that was that fall was pretty far oh yeah so cute I mean, I, I got not a lot. My resource is, resource count is kind of hot trash, right? So let's do that. I guess then I rope up the side so that I don't fall off the rope. Man, this is a little bit too easy, I guess. Bim, 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 bim. Okay, I get it. That was once amazing, and now it's... Sure. Oh, right, right, right. Someone told me this yesterday, and now I already forgot it. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. TMI is objectively pretty easy. I definitely didn't always think that to be the case. Right? But now, okay, I get it. I get it. Right, this is, a, this is still a thing. 
uh, that most people won't, that a lot of people won't see. Uh, Docky says, congrats, and glad you kept on through the run and didn't sacrifice it. No, 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 I want, but I, you know, I started playing very loose. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's true, I could have just bought those bombs. <laughs> I could I could have just bought those bombs. So I kind of, I kind of almost, Tiamat without shotgun is not easy. This is true. I don't know that I've beaten Tiamat. I mean, I probably had sticky bombs at some point. I assume that's my new personal best in terms of Tiamat time, is my guess. Where would I see that? Uh, player profile. Best time? No, best time was 2156. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I didn't know I did it in 21 minutes. Uh, definitely lots of people won't see it, but everyone who reaches Tiamat will beat her at some point. She's not a gauntlet. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. You're right. You are correct. Uh, anyway, that's kind of cool that I did six floor on the daily because that will get me a nice daily score for, um, for, um, that leaderboard thing that we look at every now and then. Yeah. So no more daily challenge, but I am going to do, it's 11.02. The cutoff today is going to be 11.30. So anything I start before 11.30 still gets finished. Because I desperately need a break. I've been working too much the last couple of days. Um, I, think, I feel like I always say this, like, I need a break. Maybe it's just a thing you say after a certain age. But no, I definitely, I'm like, man, that workshop knocked the wind out of my sails as fun as it was. Uh, this looks not like a lot going on. Oh, don't get killed, don't get hit by that. This is not the exit. This is the exit. I'm too old for this shit. I've definitely said that before. Ooh, jetpack. Jetpack and ooh, oof, oof, oof. John, are you still here? How's the anti sleep situation for today? Supposedly, I slept well. My sleep app says I slept well, but I don't know. I, I still feel I, I'll be better once I get a couple of days of rest. And by rest, honestly, in this situation, I mean I want to find some time to do some serious work on my on my music. Because I had such a good weekend last weekend, and I'd like to... Ideally, I can replicate that this weekend, at least somewhat. And then I will be basically in alpha for EP3. Uh. Like, I'll be content complete, and I just need to polish a bit. But I have so, like, that new mixer made polishing so much easier. Like, I don't have to worry too much about mastering anymore and mixing. That already happens during performance. So I have to steal it, right? Don't ask. I don't know exactly why I went up. Instead of down? Oh, because he's going down. Okay, and now he's getting killed, getting killed. Hmm. Not gonna come down the stairs anymore? Seems seems kinda wild. Only goes upstairs? Interesting. I don't think I knew that. Okay, now you're definitely not. Oh, and that's the exit. Where am I on time? 209. Well, I definitely need to get the food. That, ooh, are you gonna, you're gonna be pissed off if I, let's do it here. Oh, look, someone killed himself. So let's do it here. I have the jetpack, so it's fine. 227. Still fine. I just want to piss off Yang.
Okay. Give turkeys to Yang or Kali. Oh, right, there was Kali too. Yeah. Did I see a pug? Was there a pug and I just messed it up again? Because I was too focused on the whole battle that I was going through just now? It's a possibility, right? What, did I just get hit by that? Oh, come on. Damn you. Damn you, game. My pet was probably in back layer. Yeah, I didn't see it, right? That's annoying. I just ran into that web way too fast, because normally that would have just absorbed Poor game design. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Well. Come on, fall, fall down already. Fall down into the lower layer. Oh, wait, is the exit over here? Or not the exit, the... Oh, nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, 128. Still good on time. Don't get Andy talking shit about Derek. Nah, Derek and I are good friends. I would never talk shit about Derek. Oh, there's the... Mm, okay. I hope... I hope that shopkeep just gets stuck. Oh, and there's the... There's the altar. So I think I have to try to cook a bomb, right? I feel like this is now a thing I have to do. This is probably not a good idea. Two minutes, still have a minute to go. Uh, but I'm gonna do this. There's no way, right? What the hell? Well, let's ignore that for now. Bombs, not a bad trade for what I'm getting. Whoa, 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 slow your roller, my friend. I don't even know what kind of accent that was supposed to be. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh boy, I could have just waited that out. I could have waited that out, and I'm forgiven once again, forgiven for my egregious overstepping of the law. <laughs> Steal and Nealon! Steal and Nealon's back! That's maybe my favorite nickname ever. <laughs> oh wait, I'm going jungle, right? I'm going jungle. John, I hope you are ready to guide me through the perils of this thing you call uh, the jungle. Are you kidding me? So I'm gonna be looking at the chat a lot more and taking breaks because again, I'm not, jungle is not my forte, right? Okay, need to prioritize money though. Okay, so do I have to do this now already is the first question. Um, add and ghost pots where possible. Can you add caveman pog champ emoji? If I knew, if I could, I would. Golden Isles should be good. I mean, I have a lot of time here. Is there anything here in this level that I potentially will, I guess I, Yes, you need to be getting all the money. Okay. So much so that I should use bombs to get gems. Is there anything I forgot up here? Nah, okay. Is this the way I, oh yeah, I came this way. Let's go see what's on the other side. Some money, not a lot. But again, I guess. 
Okay, there's a pot up there. This is a lot of work, but I get it. I understand that in this specific instance of the game, money is everything, right? So I'm gonna go all the way back up because I still have about 40 seconds. I'm gonna go back and get my shotgun because I do like the shotgun a lot. Check the volcano route for gold. Uh, I 252. I think I'm out, right? Because I do think I can. Ah, shit! I just freed someone. I usually gather every crown of gold in the dwellings. It sets me up well. E hmm. Okay, there's a. Sorry, buddy. You're not. You can't. You can't come to where I'm going. Where'd my shotgun go? Where'd my shotgun go? Did my shotgun just get bitten by the trap? Are you kidding me? Really? Oh, I guess it's not the end of the world. Is that really what happened just now? Shotgun was eaten. Yuck. Well, thanks, trap. Okay, well, good job, everyone. I don't need anything here anymore, right? Let's just get out of here. Well, wait a second. Sorry. I, I am sorry. I'm still going to pick up the gold. I don't like going in there for that 500 and potentially getting hit by those spikes. Back layer and there's a ghost jar. Okay. Is there a door over there to the right? Oh yeah, that's the door. Okay, so let's get in there, see what's here, get the ghost jar. Mm, I can't, I can't get in there. Oh God, wait, I can, sorry, I, I can, here, there we go. Fire, got it. Okay, 221, let's go get the ghost pot. Okay, so now I need to find the three kids, right? So they're on the next three levels, if I understand correctly. BMI this level. Oh, BM this level, BMI. I'm like, BMI? Yeah, I, I see it and I hear it now too. So, okay. And that was the exit just now, right? Uh, don't, don't, don't tase me. Okay. Mm, how do I get in there? Oh, down there, I see. Oh boy. Three health. Now, this is starting to suck. Could use that money. Oh, this sucks.
What? This isn't the... This isn't where I saved the kid. Uh, 118. Okay, I guess my time-wise I'm still fine, but this is not... This is not where I thought... It's up there. Okay, yeesh. Where's the black market entrance? I thought I already heard it. Oh, it's there. Okay. So, should I still rescue? Well, let's get the clover first. Let's get the clover first. Let's get the standard shit. Like, I know I have to buy this, obviously. Let's collect the scarabs. I still got some good money. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, there's good money here. Okay, there's bombs. There's paste. There's, I have the compass. I don't need any of this. I guess ropes. I guess a few more ropes would be good, right? How much is the, are the bombs? 10,000. Okay, so if I get... Oh, spike boots too. So let's get... Uh, let's hope for more ropes in the future. I'll just do this and... Whoop! I don't have enough... I thought I had enough money. Nope, don't have enough money. Now I have enough money. Spike boots. Always get glasses. Uh, okay, well, I'm out of money now. So let's go back out and see... what I can do. Oh wait, there's money. Any some more money over here? No. 1800 is not enough to buy anything with. Oh! Okay, 2700. That should be enough for the glasses, right? Nope. Missing a couple of bucks. Need a sister still. Right, right, right. So let's do that. Man, this is stressful. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so the sister is gonna, let's drop this down by the exit. The sister is gonna be, I think, up here. Where is the, oh no, that wasn't that. I don't, saving sisters, you probably, yeah, it gets me bombs. I have a ton of bombs. I guess I don't need to save them. Maybe skip the sister, yeah, I thought so too. That's what I just thought. Oh, there's there's a little bit of money over here. That's maybe enough to get me the glasses. Yep, and I have another minute, so let's go in there. Wait, 412, still good. Okay, that's a pretty good haul, right? I mean, three ropes isn't great, but, oh wait, I have 3,800. Let's go get some ropes. 424. I get it. This is a little bit tight, but I would like some ropes. 429. There were no ropes here. They were all down at the bottom. Can I get out of here? Is that is that a viable exit? It looks like it. Okay. Okay. Oh boy! I am going to jump on that thing's head. Just to make sure it doesn't come back to haunt me. Uh, yep, I would. Oh, I don't have enough money for the moon challenge. I do not. You need 10K. Spike boots and walk on the thorns, by the way. Forgot all about that. Okay, so let's find the 10K that we need for the moon challenge. This is so different. I am. So, oh, careful. Trap. Okay, let's keep you there. Oh, another trap. Oh, 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 oh. So they do have. I have to say, they do have very. They do make very funny noises. Oh yo! It's gonna be enough. I might need to use some. Oh wait, there's a. 
I didn't know you could whip off the... Let's see. 9,600. Well, let's do this. Okay, now I have enough money. Okay, let's get up there quickly, do the moon, do the bow. Hopefully... Well, the bow comes with, uh, comes with a clover, right? So that should be fine. I know this is just my perceptual apparatus here speaking, but this feels like so much more work than Volcana to me. But it's, I know it's because I'm just used to doing Volcana. Maybe grab the dog for health later. I will, I will for sure. If I if I can do it time-wise, but I guess, I guess I'm good on time. Starting to see the benefit of the glasses. Oh man, there's very much nothing here. Oh, there's the kid. I wish I could, well, whatever, now I'm, I guess if I save two, I still get three bombs, right? But th what's the point? Okay, so the entrance to that is right up there, but I can't really get there without, well, I can try to get there. Okay, so let's get the pug first for health, because I'm not doing that great for three. That doesn't seem super robust. I mean, this is a lot of level traversal here. A lot of level traversal. I wonder what the equivalent is. What does one kid give? I don't know. Kiss on the cheek, maybe? I mean, I have enough means to get up there, right? I have, let's just do it, why not? Two will at least give me three bombs. Yeah, it's probably not worth it, right? Because I'm going to... Yeah. Still kind of cute. Good practice for me as a, as a non-jungle running person. Okay. Bundle of ropes, bomb bag, bomb pack. Right, can't see a thing. Not true. I can see a lot, thanks to the glasses. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so it's hopefully there. Okay, give, me, give me all your monies. Oh boy. Don't I hope now that I can find a pug. Wouldn't that be nice? Can I sack the kids? Doki, this is a question for you. Can I sack the kids? No, I can't pick them up. It's not the glasses, Andy. It's the crown that's letting you see in the dark. Oh, okay. So... Pet, please? Please, pet? Oh, boy. Nope, don't want to go there. Ooh, nice shop. <laughs> can't afford most of this stuff though. Well, let's see if I can save up to, what would that be, 16 grand? I'm at 10. Because I'm going to try to find... Come on. Okay, it looks like the... It looks like the pet is in the back layer, which is unfortunate. Should I still try to find it? 
You can save up the 16 to find the idol. The snap trap you whipped off the altar re reactivated just so you're aware. Oh shit, it did. So let's deactivate it again. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Oh, and there's another. Nope, this was not where I wanted to go. Let's not forget that. Oh, there's a trap there, too. I didn't even notice that earlier. Oh, and it just reactivated. And I deactivated it. Is the idol down there? Oh, it is. It is. Okay, so let's focus on that. I don't see how I'm going to find a pet in time but given that I'm already at 212 so let's get that idle assuming I can pull this off up oh, you oh not no 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 come on man yeah I think I can pull this off ah! nope got stuck gloves got me stuck 11.27. Man, almost, almost as if I planned it. I didn't need it. Yeah, I, that's the difference between... Well, I mean, I always do stuff I don't need. That's not the point. But that's the difference between me running Volcana and running Jungle. But I'll always do it if I find a jetpack. Just because I would not go Volcana with a jetpack. I think trying to get the idol is a good idea for me. Like, cause again, I'm kind of, if I ever do jungle runs, I'm gonna need it. Oh man, so many crates over there. Mm, they're too hard to get to, right? Uh, it's a lot of bombs. Thank you, Zontai. Thanks. Thank you very much. Dankeschön. Okay. Give me that. Thank you. the hit took the hit unnecessarily oh boy please let there be an altar somewhere that would be nice uh for the jungle go it's always safe to climb the vine so you're between the spike blocks then you don't trigger them then jumping to the idol and jump back to the other line yeah, I was definitely doing it in typical Andy Chaos mode. Just be like, ah, oh, let's do this real quick and maybe it'll work. That did not always work. Oh, well, I didn't even try to see if there was an altar over here, but let's see what's over here anyway. Oh, turkey. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, now it's Cosmic Ocean time. I, maybe. Okay, this is the... Uh, you're sorry, buddy, but you're gonna be the trigger that. Just wanna see what's over here. I hear a pet. I saw the key earlier. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Mm, you're gonna be... Nope, you're not gonna be dead. Wow, okay. There's the key. There's the pet. Uh, oh boy! I thought the key was gonna. Um... I can still get the pet at least. Look down here to see what's going on. That's not the exit. Okay, it's not get hit by that. Where's the... Oh, it's over there. Okay, fine. 
What? Oh boy. A lot of, a lot of unnecessary hits happening here. A lot of unnecessary hits that are all my fault. Oh! You little... Two. Cool. This is not Cosmic Ocean. I wouldn't call this chaos mode. This is just me being bad at dodging too many moles, right? Oh, look. Paste. I guess I have to get that. Oh god, there's a jetpack again. Well, this run's kind of doomed anyway, so why not, right? Why not? I also find the Quillen, the, the Quillen, the, the Chillen level, should Quill, wait, not Quill, no, this is uh, Quillback, this is not Chillen, Jesus, I don't know, I don't know my lore anymore, never did. Uh, I find this is a very easy level to get, to get forgiveness on the next level in. I guess I'm doing it again. The present. Try my. T the present? Where's the present? Prioritize gold. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, okay. You got this. I don't think I got this. Okay, buddy. Keep on. Present on the shop with a jetpack. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 but I was, I was on the, I was on, I was fleeing. I was fleeing from the scene. So I already, I think I already looked for all the money up here. Steal and kneel and strikes again. I wasn't planning on it. I don't feel like I've seen this many jetpacks in a while. sucks. Can't get that money. Okay, I'll give you a chance to start running around and being annoying down there while I go up and get health. Because I, well, I'm at four, but why, why not? Two minutes, I think I'm good. Just when you thought you were out, they pull you back in. Yeah, this is gonna be the one that I will archive along with last Friday and Monday, which I still haven't archived. Uh, and it will be the the day I went jungle, the day I got converted, got turned into a jungle convert. Okay, come back over here. Thank you. Come back over here is what I just said. Remember what I just said, buddy? Come back over here so I can go in there. You feel forgiven. Thank you. I feel forgiven too. Oh, look. Look, look, look. Okay, come over here. I don't want this to be my undoing. Oh, you got stuck in the... Oh, I thought... Nope, I thought I got stuck. Uh, I should be able to get there by regular means, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. I guess dark levels are really good for... Stocking up on money thanks to the scarabs. Oh, are you kidding me? I couldn't run away? Oh, yo. Time to get sacked. Okay. Is anyone here? Yep. Jesus. Has anyone here ever tried to sack 
the the plants because I guess technically you could. Oh, I have footwear for spikes, right? Yeah, I'm just sorry, everyone. You're... I mean, I guess technically I could whip them and sack them, but that seems pretty risky, right? So I think I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna sack those folks though every single time. 128, still doing good. I don't know how many of them it would take to have the equivalent. Ooh, helping hand. Yeah, man, you're sorry, man. You're you're gonna get sacked. You're gonna get sacked. Kind of a hack. You're gonna get sacked. And in case you were wondering, that's the dumb melody that we put every word to when we sing songs to our son. Get here, bud. Get here. Thank you. There we go. Now we're talking. Wait, what did I? I feel like I. No, oh, there's. I was like, I feel like I'm missing something. Is there anything else I should be doing here? Light torches for gold. Where am I time wise? Two fourteen. Okay. Light torches for gold. Good point. Very good point. Six, still good. Did I miss any more up here? Yep, there's a couple more. 234. Let's make this the last one, maybe, so I don't get eaten there by accident. Man, this whole like gold hoarding is very new for me. I'm not used to this at all. I think that's it. I think that's it in terms. Well, wait, I can still. Uh, let's get out of here. Wait, what just hit me? Oh, I walked into the side of the spikes. Uh-oh. How do I best go about that? Do I have to drop a bomb on this dude's head? Yep, let's do it. Yeah, no footwear for your face. I knew that. That's happened to me before. Like when we were playing in the in the closed beta for the month before everyone else joined us, where I had almost no time to participate, unfortunately. But yeah, those are the kinds of things that we figured out pretty early on. Uh, I want that money. Come at it from up here because I want all those gems. Great. Thanks, game. Ah, there's some other good stuff here. Well, nope, that's it. Oh, Jesus. I knew it. That happens every now and then. I forgot to do that. To, did I forget to do that one? Okay, 2-2. Two, two. I am looking... Whoa! Oh, there's a trap. And thank you very much for triggering that. So I am looking for money and potentially the kid unfortunately there's nothing that i want in there oh jesus that sucks so i, I oh god I obviously saw what just happened there that was really shitty how am i only at two health with the kapala I don't think I missed, I don't think I missed the, uh, I don't think I missed anything here, right? Lucky escape from the monkey hug. Yeah, that was pretty close. I don't see an idol, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so either. I'm really low on money, right? There's a pot to the right. Yeah, just sorry. I hate the, I hate these bugs, by the way.
Oh boy, I'm getting targeted. Shit, 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 shit! That's it. That's it. We're done for today. 11.41. Man, that was a... That was, that was a pretty decent run. But yeah, I can't I can't do the jungle. The jungle, I just, I'll still stick to it. I'll, the jetpack is cool. The jetpack is my, by, by a million miles my favorite item in HD. Um, but I... No, no. I like Volcana. I also like Volcana. Like, I think the... I think Volcana is cool. Um, I like... It's new. It feels fresh. Which doctors suck. I should have bombed it, right? Shoulda, coulda, woulda, whatever. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. With a jetpack, heartbreaker. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll keep on trying it. Wait, there's one thing I want to check out real quick. There is one thing I want to. Well, first of all, who's leading here? Uh, DT is still leading with 1439. Uh, sorry, but that's not what I wanted to check out. I wanted to check out. If this is already on the leaderboards, where would I be on that day? Okay, here we go. Okay, find world. Dream world? Who's dream world? 164th. Okay. I'm 164th in the world right now on the VDZ's server.org leaderboards. Uh, which... Let's just show you right here, right, right there at 6-4. Um, oh, six fours. Seven fours, seven fours. Wow, three 799s. It's pretty impressive. Not going to lie, that is pretty impressive. Um, okay, let me minimize this again, wrap it up. Uh, so that we can all go back to our days. Hit ba -da -ba -da. Okay. <sighs> You're meant for trying jungle twice. <laughs> Thanks, John. I never see a PS4 win Cosmic Ocean. Interesting. Yeah, I guess they don't really. I don't know. It's weird. VD and venereal disease leaderboard. I don't know what that stands for, honestly. I wish Derek could make awesome cards artwork for this for Splunky 2 like you made for a Splunky HD. Um, yeah, I wish, I, I, honestly, I wish there was a better leaderboard. I wish there was a better built-in leaderboard that, so, so that we could like, so that would be a thing, right? Where you just have like, it's easier to browse, but I guess whatever, you just use a browser, it's fine. It doesn't have to be in game, right? If we have it outside a game, that's fine. Um, okay, well. Uh, wrapping up, we recorded a lovely, lovely show yesterday that I had to get bail early on because of the workshop I was teaching. So I missed probably the last 20 minutes or so uh, with uh, uh, Zalavir Nelson Jr., who uh, is a narrative designer, but also like a, I thought Zalavir like mainly does writing, but Zalavir does like everything, right? So it seems to be like Zalavir is like a multi-talented, like polymath style person. A vi not Probably not a whole lot of coding, but like design writing narrative world building fitting the design into the world building um so it was a lot of process conversation so very little while i was there very little talk about the actual games um and pretty general process uh which i love a lot and i don't know that everyone loves that but uh it was more about shipping did nick uh and him go deep on writing uh again is it we so Alvier uh, uh, did an amazing job of answering the questions in a really eloquent way, eloquent way. And there were a couple of really quotable passages in there about sustainability and happiness that I should have wrote down as I heard them because now, of course, I'm blanking on them. But there was one specifically where I was like about being kind and being able to like make the games you want to make and how to make that sustainable, which is always a thing that is important to me because I'm an educator, right? So it's a thing where I was like, oh, I need to write this quote down. I'll listen to the show later because I missed the last half an hour anyway, right? <laughs> nice quotes out of here, clip it. Um, so yeah, I should have, I should have taken notes, but I'll listen to it later because I missed the last 20 minutes. Anyway, I want to hear what they talked about because I guess uh, that Nick and Xavier bonded over their love of ska. Uh, and I like Ska a lot, probably not as much as Nick. Nick's a huge, like, Nick's such a punk Ska nerd, it's unbelievable, right? You all know that I have very uh, much more... I'm not saying Nick doesn't have a diverse taste in music, but he's, like, Nick is a... He likes the loud stuff. And I, I do too, a lot. 
and uh, Nick and I have yet to go to a show together, um, but uh, we will as soon as COVID's over, because Nick goes to a lot of shows normally. This is for him. COVID is devastating on that angle because I think a lot of his happiness comes from going to shows all the time, right in the Bay Area. Um, but anyway, so I missed that part, and I want to listen to that, and then I'll grab the quote, and I'll probably use the quote. So uh, I'd say definitely check that out. I'm pretty sure that Nick's editing it right now, and it's probably going to go up on the feed later today. It was I thought it was an excellent show, um, excellent show. We talked, and Xavier's uh, body of work is for, for someone who's only only been doing this for four or five years is impressive, right? Like a, working on a lot of projects in parallel with a lot of different teams. Um, as like a coordinator and producer and narrator and writer and designer and um, and man that that space overlord trade what is it called <laughs> the names are so long uh, space lord organ trade simulator right or space overlord organ trade simulator looks amazing right looks really 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 cool so uh, the alien organs right yeah yeah Broquaint, any chance the podcast would be streamed or is that too much overhead logistics? Uh, we haven't even thought about it, honestly. We have not thought about doing that at all. Right now, we're in the process of using uh, Zencaster beta. Uh, we're using, we've been using Zencaster the whole time. Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator. Thanks, Docky. Um, what did I say? Space Overlord Organ Trading. <laughs> so, uh, You know what that remind? So here's the game I was trying to blank. I was trying to come up with, so I blanked on. It reminded me that Space Warlord Organ Training Simulator, for some weird reason, reminded me of Sci Five Company, an old Commodore 64 game, which is much closer to like FTL, where you have a crew and you have to get through various hardships. But like the graphics style, like really, really reminded me of this game that I loved playing as a teenager on the Commodore 64, which is fantastic. And you should check it out if you ever want to play a good Commodore 64 game. I think it's called Psy 5 Training Company or something, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like Docky would know this kind of stuff, right? For some reason, Docky, I think that you'd know like almost every C64 game ever made. Um, C64 fan of this, now we're in a real drum. Like, were you, were you like uh, a Spectrum person? Was the Commodore 64 not really a big thing? Um, I, of course you know it, Docky. Of course you know it. Right, I was not. I was expecting nothing less that you would know what that game is, right? Um, but yeah, it looked. All of it looked really cool. Uh, I played about three or four hours of Hypnospace Outlaw, which feels like a ninety, like ninety nine, like web space, unfinished internet, uh, papers please look high, find hidden objects by search, or like papers please plus her story plus I don't know. It's like a lot of stuff, right? Got Commodore 64, age five, and bought a Spectrum with my pocket money a couple years later. See, when you bought the Spectrum, I saved, I sold my Atari 2600 to buy a 1541 floppy disk drive for the Commodore 64. I'm gonna assume that that's potentially around the same time, right? Because when you were five, I was probably, what, 15 or 14? And that's around the time I bought the, flip, the floppy drive. Because uh, that thing was expensive. That was like 700 German marks, like $350, uh, which at the time was just a truckload of money for me. Still not no money, right? So it must have been like the, like infinity money for me at 14 or 13. Um, but anyway, I digress, as so often. Uh, the show was fun to record. Zalavir's kind and uh, fantastic in interviewee. Highly recommend you check that out especially if you're interested in process. Docky says, my mom helped me type code on the Commodore 64 because we couldn't read well enough for some of the magazines. She read the magazine. Nice. Nice. Man, you really got an early start. There was no Commodore 64 when I was five, right? Like, I got a Atari 2600, I want to say in 78 or 79, is my guess. Probably like six months after it came out, I got Atari 2600, and that was probably my introduction. That was my introduction to video games, more or less. Um, so what else? Uh, I think that's it. The show is the main thing. We haven't announced the guest for in two weeks yet, and we're not, I think we might be wrapping up soon-ish with like a fifth episode that we're gonna use to cap the Mutazione music series, so that we've talked about that game. So I have that game to play. 
Any guest hints? Hmm. You know what? It's on Game Pass. It's for sure on Game Pass. Um, it's on Game Pass. Also, here's a hint. I kind of already gave it away last week. Um, I kind of already gave it away. I said it multiple times on the show. Um, so I was like, oh, everyone's going to get it. Who the next guest is. Uh, I'm really excited because it's a game I've been wanting to play for a while. Uh, and started twice and then always aborted halfway through because I got sidetracked. It's not Lonely Mountains, but rest assured, that's coming. I say it's coming, and actually we don't have any confirmation yet. We haven't even talked to the developers. Uh, there will be a Lonely Mountains episode on this podcast at some point, one way or the other. Uh, it's not Outer Wilds. Although that's a good idea, um, because those are USC alumni, and I'm pretty sure I could get them on the show pretty easily. Um, but I'm the only person on the show who's played Outer Wilds, right? I don't think Nick or Zach or maybe Zach's pl Zach played it for IGF review in 2014 or like fall 2013, whenever we reviewed for IGF 2014. And then it won the grand prize in 2014, right? So, uh, <laughs> gasp. <laughs> Why? Gasp? You guys all know that Outer Wilds has been in the making for a while, right? Credibility destroyed. Oh, because Zach hasn't finished. I don't think he has. I don't think that Zach has finished Retail Outer Wilds. Best game ever. <sighs> Do we want to talk about this now? So I think there, I love Outer Wilds. But you will notice that it only came in on the fifth slot in my top five from games I played in 2020. And there's a reason for that, right? Because I thought that when I play Outer Wilds, Disco Elysium, and... Uh, Death Stranding, it will be that order, right? Outer Wilds, Disco Elysium, Death Stranding. Um, <laughs> tell him it's a battle royale. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Um, but the actual order was then Disco Elysium, uh, sorry, uh, Death Stranding, Disco Elysium, Outer Wilds. And the reason for that, so this may, these are, let's see if I can speak around for people who might still want to play Outer Wilds. There are at least two parts in that game at least two, where in one case, it was sort of a kind of a bug. So there's a, there's a sequence in the game where you have to get inside of, an, of a celestial body, and it happens at a one very specific moment, and I couldn't do it because it didn't happen. And I later learned that it's tricky, and that's, that it can bug out sometimes. So I was a victim of the bug, so I had to look it up, and I hate when I have to do that. Um, and that's number one. And then there was a second sequence where you had to be in a very specific spot at a very specific time so the thing that was filling up would be exactly at the right point to get through it, but it was very tightly timed. Yes, that, John. I, that's the, I get it. If you work on a game for five years or six, you're gonna find, so I had, I, that one I actually figured out myself. But I almost gave up because it was so hard that I thought there's no way. This game is not about that, right? This game is not about, and yet USC, we teach this a lot, right? And I was like, this game was not about that. So this is not, this can't possibly be the focus. And then when I actually did get through it and then looked it up later, I was like, okay, this is, this is really unfortunate because, you know, in game design, when something like that happens, it stands out like a real, real sore thumb because the rest of the game worked so well. Um, and so those two things are enough, right? Those two things are enough were like pretty big strikes for me that made me made me not like the game. Right, Do so Doggy says, Grummel's about tightly timed stuff, but loves Spelunky. Spelunky's about that. Spelunky is about that. Outer Wilds is not about that. So throwing it in on one occasion is, this is why I, this is why I never finished Pixel Junk Shooter, even though I like the mechanics of it for obvious reasons because it has a lot of cool like lava flow and all and physics and chemistry it's like the pre noita spelunky game that is highly underappreciated but it has like a drilling mechanic that you need one time or two times and then you never need it again and then suddenly you need it all the way at the end and i forgot because i hadn't used it in a million years right which sand part the cacti or the teleporter the cacti the cacti for sure the cacti 
Uh, the controls in Outer Wilds are not the controls in Spelunky. Yeah, they aren't. And that's why the game is not about that, right? The game is not about super tight second, like millisecond timing. Yes, you have to conclude the time loop with a specific sequence, but very few things in that time loop require you to be exactly at a specific point only once, literally in the entire cycle. And that sand shit with the cacti, you need to be exactly there at exactly that moment and then exactly make the run. And if you don't, you're it's over, right? And I'm like, no, no, that's not what, that game is about knowledge. It is not about dexterity. Unfortunately, a lot of people think it is about dexterity and then they don't play it because they never figured out how to, how to autopilot to a planet. You don't have to be good at celestial physics or osmos or anything like that to be decent with that with that spaceship, right? Because that autopilot gets you gets you places, right? Hot taken Neelan. <laughs> no, it's I mean, yeah, this is my this is my this is my opinion. This is but Outer Wilds is mwah, excellent. But it's not my favorite game of 2020. It's not my, the favorite game, my favorite game I played in 2020 because of that, because of that stuff, right? That were, I tried to crack that nut, right? And it took me so long and it was so annoying, right? Um, and I was constantly thinking like, did I miss anything else? Is there something else I'm doing? And I didn't want to look it up because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. The other thing on the other hand, where you have to like use the weird pad to get inside the planet, I was like, okay, this is just hot garbage, right? Um, that I had to look up because it was just like not solvable to me at all. And it wouldn't have been because it bugged out on my on my, on my my Xbox. Um, so there you go, there's my, the Ash Twin, yep. So there you go, there's my hot take of the day. Um, the Ash Twin sequence, getting inside of it, hot garbage, hot garbage. Uh, um, and yeah, but again, I talked to a couple of people at USC about it and they were just like, you know, they need to get that, get at, that game out. And at some point you can't see it anymore. It's long enough that the developer themselves don't see that and maybe the playtesters don't either. And then you're like, let's, we're good, right? Uh, <laughs> Tobias calling Outer Wilds the best game. I've been too much, but it's one of my favorite. Yeah, it is. Same here, right? And I think Giant Bomb gave it game of the year 2020, 2019, right? Um... Laki says I played Outer Wilds for a weekend while really sick and bleary. A great time, didn't complete it. But I enjoyed failing. So many holy shit moments in that game. Yeah, and it's, I mean, that game is fun to play. I think, honestly, in hindsight, I think that game would be fun to play if you just looked up story parts every time you get stuck for more than X minutes, right? And just, because I don't, th I think that the overall experience is still so good that you don't have to that you don't have to worry about spoilers. But I, I'm a person who's also like pretty resilient to spoilers. Like I don't care enough. There's enough surprise in the world. I don't, I don't sorry again that I'm so strong-minded about this, but it's my personal take on spoilers. I don't care. There's so many things in the world. Um, definitely succeed as an amazing experience, but the gaming parts get in the way sometimes, Bro Quaint says. Yes, I agree. I, for me, exactly in those two times, right? The concept of a knowledge-based Metroidvania is crazy that they pulled off, says Tobias. Yeah, no, and that's fantastic because when I played the game, I also played the game in 2013 for IGF Review, and I didn't get it because to me it felt like Gone Home on the Moon, right? Like I didn't understand, it, and it wasn't good. It wasn't as good as Gone Home, right? So I was like, what is going on here? And Zach was like, you don't get it. It's amazing. And I didn't understand the loop thing, and I was like, okay, whatever. I, it's lost on me a little bit. Um, but yes, it's like, yeah, all the lore is actionable. You want to read the lore. Yeah, you have to, right? Like, in, if you don't read the lore in Outer Wilds, you're not going to... The lore, yeah. It's like it's like in Zelda when, like, sometimes there's dialogue, and then, like, one or two items are in, like, bright red. And you're like, oh, 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 I got to be paying attention here. This is important, right? So it, it does stuff like that. Um, and it's good because you can really figure it out. It's not always, but it's hard to pull off, right? <laughs> Ryan, did I join Outer Wilds? Spoilers, do I need to leave? You did, but we're wrapping up, so don't worry. I was just about to wrap up the stream because uh, I got to go get lunch. It's already 12.01. Um, but yes, you did not. But Ryan, if you have not played Outer Wilds, I even though I had a couple of... I had, a, I had two very specific issues and two specific plot points uh, that were kind of weird. 
uh, I still highly recommend playing it. I mean, it made my, I played probably around 20, 25 games in 2019 uh, and it made my top five, right? So it's still fantastic. Uh, it's my 2020 game of the year I did not play. Uh, in that case, it would be probably your 2019 game of the year that you did not play because that's, that's when it came out. I just played it in 2020, right? Because we have no, yeah. Outer Wilds is one of the games I regard most super highly despite not completing it or even having a super fun time. It's so memorable, says Doki. Yep, fully agree. 100% agree. Um, Tobias, have you not said, oh, have you not seen the ending? Clean fun games I regard less highly. Uh, the ending is good. It's, in fact, I'd say it's very good, but I, it was slightly, so I listened to the end of your show on the Giant Bombcast last year, and they were like, they were, it was unfortunate expectation management, right? Where they were like, oh my God, this is like gonna blow your mind. It didn't blow my mind, right? I think about that stuff a lot. Existentialism is a huge deal for me in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> so it's, it, didn't, it didn't do that same thing for me. It did something nice for me, but it didn't do that same thing for me. Um, but maybe, maybe it would have 10, 15 years ago or 20 years ago. I don't know, I don't know. Um, Gushed about the ending of Inside was so incredible. Uh, the ending of Inside, I liked. Uh, that, fortunately, I did not see people gushing over the ending of Inside, so I thought it was like unusual for a video game. Unusual, right? If anything, like that is a way to end a video game that I, I found, I respected it. I didn't think it was like the best thing ever, but I respected how it ended. Um, you don't see that a whole lot, right? And I think, oh, and I th also just, you know, I think Inside is a fantastic game. I really enjoyed, I really, oh no, Doki, don't get me wrong. I like the ending a lot. Uh, if I had heard people hyping it like crazy before, I would have probably been like, wait, this is what you hyped? But having not had that, I was like, this is interesting. Um, <coughs> Tobias says the ending of Outer Wilds is probably amazing if you didn't see the plot going there. I did, so it wasn't as mind blowing. Yeah, and I, I was pretty sure that was what was gonna happen, right? Very emotional i probably cried i may have shed a tear when i watched it uh because i would i did play the game i think the the how long does it take to complete video what game sites said website said something like 15 hours for the main story i definitely didn't play that game for 15 hours i for sure played that game for closer to 25 or 30. um yeah so i had to google the spelling the only reason i don't have to google the spelling I don't know how it's pronounced, denouement. The only reason I don't have to Google the spelling is because there's a title card in the original Clerks, where it is the which is the first time I was I was introduced to that word, because of course I'm denouma. Oh, it's Fr oh it's French. Okay, denouma, denouement. De so it's probably denouement, right? Is what I would assume if it's a French word. Um, so I didn't know what it meant because I lived in Germany. So there's a title card and it says Denouement. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what the hell is this? Because um, I do like Clerks a lot. Denouement. Um, okay, so I'm going to wrap up. This has been, yeah, Satra show-like. I'm a hobby philosopher. But I was told by people that most people are hobby philosophers, who, who actually are big philosophers, weren't big on reading up other philosophers, so... What the fuck is this word, LOL? It's like closure, right? I think I think it's closure. Um, Clerks probably does not hold up. Watched it two years ago, and it does a decent job. Chasing Amy, on the other hand, does not hold up. Actually, I don't think anything that Kevin Smith has done holds up. Um, but Clerks, in my mind, yeah, it's a li it skirts the boundaries of good taste every now and then. But it doesn't do anything like, it's not, it's not bigoted. It's not, it's like everyone's pretty open-minded and they're just like young jerks and they're trying to navigate the space and he can't figure out his love life. And there's weird shit that happens in a bathroom, but, and it's, you know, it's like high school weird humor, but it's not like disrespectful, I find of like any group or anything which is not the case for most of his other stuff, right? 
They're working on Clerks 3 now. Clerks 2 is, on the other hand, pretty problematic. Um, I recently rewatched that, and I was like, ooh. Clerks 2 has a couple of things where it's just like, nope. Um, that's not, that's not good. Um, Chasing Amy is a crime, I agree. I did not think that in the 90s, but I definitely think it now. Um, Chasing Amy is trash, right? I can't, I can't go back, I can't watch that. Um, that's not doable. I did, and I was like, Jesus, like, why did I think this was good back then? Well, I lived in Germany and I, didn't ha I had no gay friends. Um, cancel 1990s Kevin Smith. Uh, again, I'm gonna take a stand on Clerks 1 that did not, I don't think there is a whole lot of Clerks 1 that isn't just like toilet humor, but not the kind that is uh, disrespectful to an entire group of people, right? That's what I mean. If you don't like the toilet humor, that's like a lot of, a lot of like sexual uh, entendre and all kinds of stuff. Why do people get so offended over everything, says Samurai Frog? Well, that's a bigger topic that I'm not gonna tackle right now. Uh, because, well, the, the short answer is because people attack other people implicitly or explicitly by the things they say, right? And they're not the person who's the who's being attacked by it, so they don't understand why it's offensive, right? So that's the simple answer to that question, right? Um, Doggy says, my gay friend introduced me to chasing Amy internalized bigotry. That's wild, right? That's That I find wild, but also, you know, I have a lot of gay friends in New York City who love nothing more than uh, Cards Against Humanity, and I think Cards Against Humanity is not a great game. And I've told my, I've told Max, not that that matters right now because I think Max has been canceled pretty much. But um, I don't like I don't like cards. I don't think it's a good game. It's apples to apples with raunchy sh shit that I'm not that interested in. But when I play it with my uh, West Village friend, gr large group of gay friends, they they think it's the best thing ever, and actually playing it with them is is a good time, which is weird, right? Um, uh, caring about people tends to make us not represent people as a punchline. Right. Uh, I gotta run. I gotta run too. I gotta run too. Uh, so thanks all for watching. That was really fun. That was also a fun conversation to have at the end. Uh, it's good to work through these things as a community. Um, I'm in a meeting now. <laughs> Good job, John. Good job being in a meeting. Um, I got to go to a lunch meeting. Um, nice combo to catch the tail end of. <laughs> ah, I hope you liked it. It was kind of fun to do. Um, but I think we've had the Chasing Amy. I feel like Docky and I have had the Chasing Amy conversation before. This is not the first time this came up. Because we have talked about that Paris Review, the Big Eye article before. Uh, kind of go watch Chasing Amy for the first time, see what the fuss is about. Um, yeah, it's uh, bigoted, I think, is what I would call it in weird ways that they think is harmless, but it's not, for sure not. Uh, at least we maybe we thought it was harmless in the 90s. It's not how we talk about that stuff anymore, thank God. Uh, but, you know, you, you get there through doing that. Bro Quaint, thanks to the stream, Andy, and the chat. Chat, have a good weekend. Have a good weekend, everyone, and that's a good time to sign off. So I'll be check out the stream. We interviewed Zalavir Nelson Jr. on process and games, and that was super fun, and it's going out later today. Uh, I'll be back next week, Monday through Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific, 10.30 a.m. Pacific on Friday for the Breakfast Splunky streams. Uh, I wish you all a wonderful rest of your Friday. Have a wonderful weekend with your friends and loved ones, if you, can, if you so can. Um, but if you can't, I hope you still have a great time. Uh, and uh, I will just say, stay safe, stay healthy, happy, and sane. I'll see you all on Monday. Cheers.